Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tara too. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Saturday, March 26, 2023. And I saw something that uh, in the news yesterday that really made me happy. And it is the return of James O'Keefe in a professional capacity. If you recall, he has um, he is no longer connected to the organization he founded, Project Veritas. There was a uh, shenanigans involved with his ouster, which for some odd reason happened right after he did an expose about uh, a big pharma company that starts with a PF. <laughs> so before we look at where he's at now, let's take a peek back at where he was, because I thought it was interesting to see what was on that homepage and what was not. Let me share what I'm talking about with you. When I went to Project Veritas to see just how they're doing, <laughs> I noticed that on this thumbnail here, they keep showing a picture of Mr. O'Keefe as if he's still associated with them, okay? Talking about back when they were uh, um, contesting a recording law that the state of Oregon was uh, enacting. And then I thought, let's see whatever happened, how many views there are, what have you, with that famous story about the big pharma company. I couldn't find it. Now, maybe if I did, I do. I mean, I looked at more news. I looked at more videos and I couldn't find it anywhere. So it's funny, isn't it? That uh, Mr. O'Keefe on the breaking heels of the biggest story of his entire career was uh, shenaniganed away from his own company. And uh, the story, that was causing so much of an expose is gone. Hmm. Not that it's irrelevant. I think they just uh, paid for it to be gone. Okay, just I, th I think they paid for Mr. O'Keefe to be gone. That's just my Laura's view, which I'm entitled to. <laughs> now let's see where he's gone to. Okay, hang on just a second. Mr. O'Keefe is now starting a media group called OMG Media. It stands for O'Keefe Media Group, but I just love the uh, the double meaning of there, like, oh my God. <laughs> and I don't know that I can do a direct link to it. Um, it's o'keefemediagroup.com, but if I can't, I'll have a link to my Facebook page, which will have a, a uh, link to this page. I subscribed. Not only did I subscribe, but if you scroll down on this page, you can see that you can also help him in his efforts to expose corruption, scams, and what have you for $19.99 a month, and I bought a year subscription. I mean, I would have liked to have been one of the founders here, but, you know, I'm on a budget, so that's just the way it is. But I am supporting him, and just like when I do um, shout out, I have shout out a few um, reporters. He's one of them. Laura Logan's another one. And uh, there's a couple more that I think are really helping to bring truth and honest news to the world and exposing some things that desperately need to be exposed. So let's uh, ask the cards, okay? Well, Keith Media Group, by the way, just a little background here. You can see he's got a one and a half minute spot that I think is really, really good. Um, talk about what he did. He is now sending out cameras and hidden uh, microphone um, equipment to citizen volunteers. So for all of those people that were whining in that staff meeting, it's difficult to work for. He's exacting and he asks a lot from us and he ate a sandwich out of the refrigerator. <laughs> He's having no trouble finding people willing to work for him and even for free. And if you were paid and you were whining, you should have sucked it up, Buttercup. Okay? <laughs> so I like that he has regrouped. And even though his original um, site, Project Veritas, is trying to act like they're, you know, doing the dirty work and, and doing exposés, they are so redundant now. So I would say follow Geek Media Group and let's see if the cards agree. So we're going to ask the cards. What is the outlook for O'Keefe Media Group? And um, uh, are there other insights and information you want us to know about O'Keefe? media group. Let's find out. 
Okay. The outlook for O'Keefe Media Group, other insights or information um, as deemed appropriate by our loving universe and loving creator to share with us at this time. Okay, our first card is the pool. Judgment. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. Strength. Three major arcanas in a row there. Five of Wands. Two of Wands. Page of Swords. Okay, I'm going to share the insights I'm getting from the cards, and then I'll explain what elements of the cards are bolstering those insights. Okay, it's always a uh, marriage of the two when I do a read. First of all, I'm getting that this is a new endeavor that he is very excited about and has a lot of energy about, Mr. O'Keefe with OMG Media Group. And uh, he is going to be, he's got a lot of perseverance, and it's going to be successful. There are still going to be some challenges. There have been his entire career as he exposes corruption and what have you. So that is going to continue, but not in a negative way. It's just the fact that he is willing to uh, uh, bring the dirt out into the light, you know, dark to light, which is what <laughs> our world is entirely headed towards, okay? And he does so, He the truth is really important to him. He's a very intelligent man and he wants to... Uh, um, be aligned with intelligent people that have his work ethic and share his vision, at least to some degree. Okay, now here is why I say that. First of all, the fool is uh, starting out on a new journey. It's a, it's a walk of faith, okay? And once again, he has done that by starting a whole new um, endeavor after the uh, Project Veritas upheaval with his uh, O'Keefe Media Group, okay? Judgment. I love that sometimes the major arcanas kind of tell you exactly what they're about. There, there may be some other, you know, ancillary meetings, but uh, um, I do like that. So, and it was a, uh, it was just a case of good judgment on his part, and it was a result of that he is hoping to um, bring some judgment and uh, have his, have his uh, endeavor be very successful. I'm seeing that it's going to immediately have some success and we'll see if there's any long-term outlooks uh, with some additional cards in a minute. Okay, so he has uh, some donors and backing um, that are fairly generous, okay? But they are waiting for him to perform, but I don't think they have anything to worry about that. And if more everyday people like me sign up for that uh, 1999, that'll be, uh, we can be part of that endeavor. The strength card is one of strength. It's one of resilience and fortitude, and there's even some forgiveness involved with the strength card. And I think sometimes to move on in a healthy way, you have to forgive and just realize that uh, the universe is going to deal with those who have done you wrong. And it's better to go on with your life or, you know, start a new chapter. And that's exactly what Mr. O'Keefe has done. In the near future, that's where I said he's still going to have some challenges, but with the type of journalism he does, it's to be expected, okay? Our insight card here kind of bolsters the pool here because with the two of wands, which is kind of like a portal, we're seeing more and more references to portal in our um, existence, so I find that very interesting. Um, but he's in the whole world. He's got the whole world in his hands. He is So he's willing to go worldwide to expose issues, number one. And number two, he's got pretty clear vision of the path he intends to take, and that path is pretty clear for him. Even though when he stepped out, he kind of had to do it in faith, he's got a good vision now. He's got a good business plan. He's got a good vision for where he wants to take his company. The Page of Swords is our next insight card, and I love that because that is a card of truth, okay? And curiosity and intelligence and perception, okay? So he learned a lot from what happened at Project Veritas. Um, it won't happen again. <laughs> it won't, it just won't. And if that means because he aligns himself with citizen journalists that are willing to work for nothing except for a little recognition if they come up with a good 
you know, story for him, so be it. Let's get some other cards. Okay, this is again, all these now are looking forward. He is going to go from some backing and uh, prosperity to a lot, intergenerational. Good for you, Mr. O'Keefe, okay? He, um, he's not one to rest on his laurels, but he did take a little time to reflect before he started this. And uh, I don't think we have to worry that he's going to be distracted by these and overlook an opportunity here because um, if that has happened, it was in the past and it's not going to happen looking forward here. So we just have him you know, aware of what's in front of him, but also um, got some other hidden blessings coming his way. <laughs> yeah, we do, because Page of Cups is all about a hidden blessing, okay? And when the Page of Cups shows up, that's a creativity and connection one. So he is, uh, yeah, he's going to be, he's coming up with creative ideas and ways to um, get information and get it out there. And good for you, Mr. O'Keefe. I'm a fan, can you tell? All right. And he's only partially reaping what he will reap. Again, look at all the pinnacles showing up with him. Okay, we've got the seven, we've got the 10, which is the ultimate, we've got the six. So uh, yeah, he's. I put my money on him and I did. <laughs> so let's recap. James O'Keefe has now started something called O'Keefe Media Group, OMG. You can get him on the ground floor and help him uh, start his organization. By the way, he says his first story will be out tomorrow, Monday, the 27th. I can't wait to see what it is. And uh, it's also it was also interesting to note that uh, the Pfizer story that caused all the original issues at Project Veritas, uh, I couldn't find it on their website. If you can, more power to you if you want to waste the time looking for it. Uh, but it's interesting that they're trying to act like he's still part of it, and he is not. So if you want to be in on what... Mr. O'Keefe is trying to expose and shed light on, you'll need to do it through O'Keefe Media Group. And then the cards for him showed that he had a clear vision and a lot of fortitude and uh, integrity. And uh, he learned from his experiences, it won't happen again. And he's going to be very successful at this, very successful. So you don't mind working for a hard boss, Okay, and one with a clear vision shouldn't be too easy to work for. Okay, all right, he can hire an admin that remembers the birthdays and brings the cake out once a month for the birthday crew and that kind of stuff. Okay, uh, I'd work for him. I'd work for him in a heartbeat. Okay, <laughs> but then I don't back down from a challenge. <laughs> and I hope you don't either. Okay, we need some fortitude and resilience and uh, just some grit to get through this life and to do it without bowing to you every uh, opposing force that we meet, all right? That's it for this video. If you want to stay around after I say goodbye here, you can. I've got a couple of just a little non-political things to uh, share with you folks. And uh, but in the meantime, for this particular read about OMG, uh, James O'Keefe's new media group, that's it for now. And I wish you love and light. And thank you so much for listening and being part of my little endeavor here. Thank you very much. Love and light. Bye. Okay, I just want to let you know, now that I am here in place, here in Maine, um, I, I was promising that I will upgrade my equipment, and in the next couple of weeks, I do plan to get a better computer system in here, so hopefully those of you that are still noticing some microphone issues, um, I can get that resolved. And this, your patience is, is appreciated. This is a home production. This is my home. This is you know, equipment that I can buy off the internet, nothing's custom or anything like that. So you, your patience is very appreciated and your viewership is too. I do not take you for granted ever. I want to thank everybody for your fabulous birthday wishes. I had a nice birthday and uh, hopefully I'll have many, many more in this suit. <laughs> I have no doubt I'll have more <laughs> uh, because we are eternal beings having a physical existence, aren't we? But since I'm making good use of this one, I want some more time with it. So we'll see if that's what the, our living creator has in the plans. So to recap that, there'll be some new equipment in the near future. Um, thank you for your birthday wishes very, very much. Thank you for your patience with home productions in general. And one last thing, my daughter has surgery this next week. Originally, we were supposed to be gone 
downstate for two nights. It's going to be four. I'll take some equipment with me. Um, so I may get a video or two up, but uh, just so you know, we leave Tuesday afternoon. We'll be back Saturday. So um, don't expect daily, but I'll do my best to get on there once or twice in between. And then your prayers uh, for her surgery would be very, very appreciated. It's a, uh, a they're going to graft a tendon. She has a torn tendon and it has to be grafted from a piece from another spot and uh, some other orthopedic work getting done. So, you know, just for healing in general. And I know those of you with good healing energy skills, if you know where on the body to be thinking of, that's, you'll know, so you can help her. So I do appreciate that too. And I'm a total believer in uh, energetic distance healing. I've benefited from it myself very much. So is Chloe. <laughs> okay, that's it for this video. Completely it. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Everybody, I send you love and light and uh, you mean more to me than words can say. That's, that's all I can say. <laughs>